Tom Bauer's latest book blows Meg's fuse as some hidden corners of her marriage taken the lid off. Meghan Markle is concerned that a new biography about her is set to be released this autumn, a royal expert has claimed. Tom Bauer, a royal biographer, has written a new book about Meghan Markle, 40, which he claims will disclose the truth about the Duchess of Sussex. It will tell the truth when it comes out, Mr. Bauer told the Daily Express last year. Meghan is worried by the publication, according to royal analyst Neil Sean. This time he's dug into the former life of the now Meghan, Duchess of Sussex, Mr. Sean stated on his YouTube channel. According to very good sources, Meghan's concerned that this particular book could damage her image. Meghan is concerned by who spoke to Mr. Bauer and as her team have pointed out, how rock solid these claims are. Either way, a lot of people's money is simply on Mr. Bauer's book rather than the forthcoming memoir from Prince Harry. A source told The Sun last year, this is the book Meghan will be dreading. Tom doesn't pull his punches and is terrifyingly thorough in his research. No stone will be left unturned. Tom has previously worked with some of his subjects, and even spent time trailing them, but it has been made perfectly clear to him that this will not be an option with Meghan. She wants no part of it. The Duchess recently revealed she and her husband were torn over what to call their son, an Invictus Games competitor has said. The couple named their baby boy Archie Harrison Mountbatten Windsor after he was born on May 6, 2019. Meghan is reported to have informed the parent of a young boy named Harrison that she and Harry couldn't decide whether to name their child Archie or Harrison. Sherry McBain, 42, of Southampton, claimed her wife Mandy brought their young son Harrison to a children's book reading at the games in The Hague, where Meghan was present, and the two struck up a conversation. Ms. McBain told the PA news agency, she was like Harrison, that's Archie's middle name, and Mandy was like yeah. I know. They were just having a chat because Harry and Meghan couldn't decide between Archie and Harrison for the first name. Archie means genuine, bold and brave, and is German in origin. Short for Archibald, it is now given as a name in its own right. Previously, an explosive new book by royal author Tina Brown also reveals concerns Prince William had about Harry and Meghan's relationship. Prince Harry thought that the best way to protect Meghan Markle from fierce media attention while they were still dating was to marry her as soon as possible, it has been claimed. A new book written by Tino Brown, author of 2007 bombshell biography of the life and death of the Princess of Wales, The Diana Chronicles, says that the Duke of Sussex thought that the answer to keeping Meghan from prying eyes was to get her police protection through marriage. Harry and Meghan first met in 2016 and were engaged before the end of 2017. They married on 19 May 2018. Brown's explosive new book, titled The Palace Papers, Inside the House of Windsor, claims to lift the lid on how the other members of the royal family felt about Harry's blossoming relationship with Meghan. Having spoken to more than 120 royal insiders over the course of two years, the author writes that while most of the family, including Prince Charles and the Queen, appeared to like Meghan, it was Prince William who had the biggest reservations. William was also concerned the Duchess would not have enough time to create a life for herself in the UK and make new friends. A former palace adviser told Brown that William's biggest worry was for his younger brother's mental fragility and that he wouldn't be able to cope with all the scorching scrutiny and harassment that Meghan would come to endure. But according to the book, Harry's response to William's fears was that the most effective way to protect Meghan would be to marry her as quickly as possible so that she would receive the same police protection that he did while he was still a working royal. However, the negative media attention on Meghan only worsened in the months leading up to the wedding and after it, and in the months leading